No flashback. If you want to know how I achieved this, continue watching. I like to start off with a freshly moisturised face. The moisturiser I use is by Nivea and it's their day cream. All products I use in this video will be in the description bar down below so make sure you check that out. Now I know a lot of you guys are going to freak out because I'm not using a primer but I have not found one that can come back to an oily t-zone so if you guys have any recommendations please write that down in the comment section down below to help me and anyone else out here that's struggling. I also apply Vaseline on my lips to ensure they're moisturised throughout the day. I'm now going to use the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit in the colour Deep and use the orange shade in that palette to conceal any dark areas or blemishes that I may have on my face. I'm now going to use the bottom of my Real Techniques beauty sponge to blend all of that out. I always make sure my beauty sponges are damp and clean and this is because it allows my makeup to blend effortlessly and look flawless. Using a dirty blender that already has product in it will not make your makeup look flawless and fresh and using one that's dry instead of damp will just make it harder for you to blend. I'm now going to use my favourite brush of all time which is the Real Techniques Face Expert brush to buff out and blend out the colour corrector that I placed on my face. Once that's blended, I go in with my favourite foundation stick by Anastasia. Guys, am I saying it right? Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? And I'm just going to place that all over my face. I'm going to go back in with my beauty sponge to make sure all of that's blended into my skin. I'm now going to go back in with my face expert brush to blend all of that out and guys I literally love this brush so much it's inexpensive under £10 and it literally blends out your makeup like a pro it's just amazing I'm now going to go in with my favourite concealer of all time which is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour Fawn and I'm going to apply that in my chin, my under eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose and under my cheekbones. I'm now going to use the tip of my beauty sponge to blend all of that out. I'm now going to go back in with this face expert brush. Yes, this brush again. I literally love this brush and you guys are gonna be seeing it throughout this video. I'm now going to go in with my angled brush which is from Primark and it's only a pound, such a bargain. I'm going to use that to dip into my Anastasia contour cream kit and use the colour Espresso to contour my face.
I'm now going to use that exact same contour shade to contour my nose. I'm now going to use the bottom of my beauty sponge to blend all of that out. I'm going to take my face expert brush, yes, again, and buff everything out. Alright guys, I'm now going to show you guys how I set my makeup and how I prevent flashback. The way I prevent flashback is by making sure I use a concealer shade that's no more than three shades lighter than my skin tone and also using a foundation that is my skin tone and making sure I don't apply too much. Now if you use a concealer shade that's way too light for your skin, you will get flashback. If you use one that's too dark or too light for your skin tone, you will also get flashback. Also, another reason why a lot of people experience flashback is because they bake. Baking is when you leave a certain powder on your face for an excessive amount of time and this will cause flashback because it's much harder to blend out the powder so there will probably be left over certain powder still on your face which the camera will pick up if flash is in use. I also suggest that you guys go out and buy that Real Techniques Face Expert brush. Guys this is not sponsored but that brush is literally amazing. I use it for everything and it's also amazing for buffing out any leftover residue of face powder or certain powder on your face. I'm now going to buff out the Sasha Buttercup off my face. I am however going to leave a bit of that black opal deluxe finishing powder on my face while I contour. The contour I'm using is the Anastasia contour kit in medium to tan and I'm using the darker shade to contour my face. I'm now going to go back in with my face expert brush and blend everything in. It's now time for my favourite step of makeup, which is highlighting. I just love to glow, like, if you guys know me, you know I love to highlight. But yeah, I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to be using bronzed to highlight my face. I 
I'm now going to use the Face Expert brush to buff that in just so it looks natural and not too harsh. Alright guys, so this is how I achieve a flawless and no flashback makeup look. I hope this was useful. I'm now just going to apply lashes and eyeshadow off camera and I'll be back. See you guys in a bit. So that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys found this video to be useful and I'll be back with more videos. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay.